everyone, today I'm going to be showing you some beauty items that I picked up from Sephora and Macy's and Von Mar. So first, let's start with Macy's. I placed an online order a couple months ago, um, and it took a little while to get here. But what I got was the Tarte B Magnificent palette. And I am so happy that I got this. It was sold out forever and I just kept stalking Macy's online and one day it was just randomly in stock so I picked it up. And it has all these matte shades. I'll show you here. It comes with a blush, two eyeliners, and then the rest are just shadows. I also picked up a blush from Tarte that I had been eyeing for a while. You have to spend so much to get free shipping on Macy's. Macy's shipping is like ridiculous. And this is going to be my first Tarte blush. It is in the color Flush. And it's just this really pretty, almost, um, it's a little, it's a pink, but it has a little bit of a purple in it. And I just think that's really pretty. I'll swatch it for you. It doesn't swatch too well, but I'm sure that it looks better on the skin. And then with that order, they sent me two free Tarte items. And the first one is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. I'm just a little deluxe size. And it looks like that. I haven't used it yet, so I'm not sure, but I'm sure it's okay. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And then they also sent me a little deluxe size um, maracuja oil, which looks like this. And I already have it in the full size, and I really like it. I've been using it a lot for the past couple months. So I'm glad to have a little more of that. Next, I picked up some stuff from Estee Lauder, and they were having a gift with purchase. I believe it was at the end of March. I've been having this stuff laying around for a while. And the bag is actually a Lily Pulitzer print, which is really cute. And I picked up quite a few things. The gift um, with purchase is really, really good. And I don't own any other um, Estee Lauder things. So what I picked up were two lipsticks. And they are um, the newest lipstick formula, which is the Pure Color Envy Sculpting Lipstick. And I picked up the colors in Famous and powerful and I think there's still a few more that I want to try the first one here is powerful and it is just this really pretty pink color I'll swatch it definitely a very wearable pink um, I have worn this one and they're really moisturizing I like them and the caps are magnetic which is really cool the other color in famous is more of a brighter pink And they are just so creamy. Let's see if you can see. And I can't wait to wear them. And then I also picked up the Double Wear Brush on Glow BB Highlighter. And I got it in the shade 2C Light Medium. Now, I think the lady might have given me kind of a d color that might be too dark. But I plan on using it under the eyes. And it's just a highlighter. A highlighter pen. You can see it there. Looks a little dark for my skin, huh? But we will see. I'm going to try it out. Um, and I've heard really good things about this. It's pretty new. And then the gift had... Um, you got to choose your cream. And I chose the... Estee Lauder Day Wear. Looks like that. It has kind of a, I don't know, kind of a cucumber scent, I think. I don't know. And then it came with a deluxe sized advanced night repair, which I've heard really good things about that. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. And it also came with a Sumptuous Bold Lifting Mascara. Looks like that. 
It kind of reminds me of Lancome's Hypno Star. It's kind of like a cone shape. And then it came with this little cute eyeshadow quad. It says Lily Pulitzer on it. And this has four shades. Pigmentation's not great. I'm not going to swatch them. Um, but they're kind of kind of purpley dark brown colors, taupey colors. And I just think the little packaging is really cute. And then it came with a lip conditioner, which looks like that, just a lip balm. And then it also came with a pure color lipstick and candy, and this is a shimmer. Just looks like that. And I'll swatch that next to the other ones. It's actually not super frosty. I think it's pretty wearable. Just kind of a pinky color. And that was all for Estee Lauder. And then the Sephora stuff is actually from the VIB sale. It's just been sitting in the bag, so I figured might as well just go ahead and film it. So it was my birthday month, so I picked up my gift by Makeup Forever. And it has a lipstick and a mascara. I'm sure everyone has seen these before. There's the mascara. And then the lipstick, which it's kind of dark. It's kind of a brownie color. Definitely not going to wear it, probably. And it's right there, if you can see that. Um... Eh, it's okay. I think the Benefit one was better last year. And then I also got two free um, samples with my points. And I picked up the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Primer and the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. So there's those. Pretty excited to try those. And then I picked up a couple things that I was getting close to being out of, and then some new things that I wanted to try. And the first thing that I was almost out of is the Benefit Professional. I'm sure everyone knows about this. It's just really good at hiding pores, and I have pretty big pores. And then I'm pretty close to being out of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, so I decided to try the Chill version which I heard just makes um, your face more dewy, which doesn't really make sense in the summer, but my skin's just been kind of dry lately, and I'm just tired of the matte look, so I thought I would give that a try. And then I picked up a face primer um, for when my skin starts getting more oily this summer, and it is the um, Kors or Kores Palm Granite Mattifying Face Primer. It just looks like that. If you've tried this, let me know what you guys think. Um, I like that this brand, I think, is a little more natural, which I'm trying to use a little bit more natural things as much as I can. Um, but definitely let me know if you've tried that. And then I picked up my first YSL Glossy Stain. And I got it in the color Anchor? Anchor? Rose? I'm not sure. <laughs> and it's just this really pretty pink color. Um, I have worn this and I liked it. It's right there. And then lastly I picked up two Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders and I got them in the color Diffuse Light and Ethereal Light. I do have Dim Light and I found that it it's either my foundation oxidizing or it's just a little too tan for me. So I decided to try two lighter shades. And one of them is just a yellow. And then the other is just like a white. And I have tried both of them and I really do like them. And I like them for setting my makeup. So that's everything that I picked up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.